I figured I'd start a new project before I uh, get the parts in for the finish that motor there. Uh, this is the bunch of lithium ion cells that I've been collecting over the years, and uh, I want to use them up before they go bad. They've been uh, all holding the same charge, which is good. They've been sitting for years, so they're, uh, they're actually pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bunch of sub 24 back uh, 24 volt packs for testing. This is uh, rated for 12 to 15 amp hours at 24 volts or 25 volts. I'll make a bunch of sub packs. That way, if uh, if I have an issue with a bad cell or a thermal runaway, I don't lose all my packs, just the one. I would never build a huge pack on one of these. I just don't trust them enough to do that without a BMS. But uh, I'll run an alarm on them, an RC alarm. And uh, there's my lead wire or my balance lead that I'll cut up and set that up for it. Got to get some wiring for... Yeah, there we go. Get the wiring for the main leads. There's the black. There's the red. So we're just going to have to... going to have to grab some uh, household wire, pull the ground wire out of it, the ground strap, and then I'll just quickly tint all these. And then I'll uh, bridge Probably bridge it here. You know how it goes. Bridge it there and then cross over, bridge it there. So it's going like that all the way along, which will give me the 24 volts. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but to get this to actually hold together nice and tight without movement, I used Amazing Goop. This stuff works really, really good for all kinds of projects. It uh, dries a hard, like, uh, it's a soft rubber, but it's, it's not soft enough that there's any movement. So it's perfect for this. As you can see, I got it in there pretty good. Just dabbed every which way. It stinks like hell, but uh, it works good. And I can still, uh, you can see that? I can still cut the glue to get a cell out if it goes, or, uh, if, uh, if uh, a bunch of them go bad. So it's pretty strong stuff. Just wrap it in duct tape, which is good to go. But, uh, I'll get this finished up. I'll post another video, and then uh, what I'll do is I got a GoPro Hero coming in, and uh, we'll go on some rides and uh, document some of the uh, voltage sag and everything else from these, and see how they work out. Uh, I mean, most of my packs are like that now. Like these are all LiPo four. I got three of those. That's about a little bit less than 49 volts, and then I got the lithium manganese that uh, I got off of Stevo. God, years ago, there's a bunch of them there too. I'm <laughs> still using them to this day, and they work great. Um, this is a 24 volt pack. I can't remember how many cells per pack uh, per um, uh, series, but um, it's uh, these. They run great together. I get a full 10 amp hours out of all that. So I'd rather build cells like this than go out and buy a brand name like Golden Motor or whatever because they get issues with BMSs and cells and everything else. This way there's no BMS. I have to do my own uh, monitoring of the voltages. So, we'll see. Um, there's a lady on my Facebook page that sells this stuff out of uh, Asia, uh, Monica Wang or something like that. And, uh, she uh, it's going to give me a good deal when I decide to go up and order them. So I'll probably go that route and make bigger packs. I'd rather make bigger, 20, say, 20, 20 amp hour, 24 volt packs. A couple of those. Then one sub pack, one big pack. So we'll see. So, well, that's uh, that's the new. I just started this project now. At, uh, as soon as the parts come in, I'll uh, post some more uh, videos on the motor. But that's going to be RC driven basically, that's the way that motor is set up.